So you've got your salad and next we're going to do, you can use this as a dessert or you can drink it along with your salad. And you know, if you can't do a green smoothie on St. Patrick's Day, when can you do it? And if you can't treat yourself on St. Patrick's Day, when can you do it? In raw food, we're going to do that with some cacao. So we're going to do a chocolate mint green smoothie. Um, so let's just get straight into it. In the blender, we've got this beautiful fresh almond milk. And if you're not sure how to make almond milk, I'll put a link below this video where you can check out my YouTube video on how to do that. Going to bring the greens with some spinach. So, um, you know, it's going to give us a nice green flavor, uh, green color without giving us too much flavor. The mint. So it's about a quarter of a cup lightly packed, um, five grams or 0.2 of an ounce if that interest is, interests you. Um, but again, you know, you can use your your discretion there as you're going to with the ice cubes. So let's have a decent couple of handfuls there of ice. There's nothing worse than a warm green smoothie, you know? So um, the ice is gonna sort that out and it's gonna give us a nice kind of frosty consistency as well. Uh, coconut sugar, that's my sweetener of choice in this one. And uh, I've powdered that coconut sugar before we did this, I just powdered it, took the coconut sugar in the Vitamix, gave it a, a good old whiz and turned it into a powder. You can do that in a coffee grinder or um, you know any kind of really powerful blender. Then we've got cacao nibs. So I'm gonna put a few of those in and then leave a few for the end. Um, coconut butter, amazing coconut butter. So this is a little bit different from coconut oil. It's more of the fiber, it's not just fat, it's sweeter. Um, more delicious in my opinion and you know if you've used coconut oil before you know how it melts and goes uh, liquid and clear this won't ever do that it'll always stay white and uh, won't go into a full a full kind of liquid just stays that soft kind of consistency I'm gonna go in with a little bit of uh, Himalayan salt just a pinch that's optional if you don't want to put salt in there you don't have to but it's gonna bring out the flavor and bring out the sweetness and then we're gonna put a bit of avocado in there for creaminess. And obviously being green, that's gonna help us with the, uh, the color as well. So I'm just using the spoon that I did the coconut oil with. That can go in as it is. It's a good avocado, there's no brown bits. Uh, then we're ready to blend this up. Okay, so we couldn't do anything else but serve it in a green glass. And um, I've really blended that down so that the ice is, um, is smoothed out as well. So the danger is if you don't blend it long enough, it goes kind of like clumpy. Um, but we can blend it just the right amount so it still stays, stays really nice and cold, but also is very smooth as well. So here we go. Green smoothie, green glass, mint cacao, doesn't get any better than that for St. Patrick's Day. And what we're gonna do is top that off with some of these um, cacao nibs that we saved. And then also a little sprig of mint on top. There we go, happy St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm.